since we move uh, from Tracy, California to Oregon, I have only a small 80 bottle uh, wine cellar. So in Oregon, for the winter, I get some good wine. So um, right now it's uh, end of May and I still have um, five uh, cases that they're sitting on my, you know, uh, woodshed and uh, temperature is, it's, it's start raising here. I have to do something about it. So behind the, the wood uh, storage shed, I have uh, a nice tree and it's uh, a creek here. Well, I'm thinking of a cheap wine cellar solution for uh, these five uh, cases of wine I have. So um, here is the idea. I'm going to um, dig a hole, uh, get this barrel inside it, cover with the, cover it with the ground again, and uh, uh, put the wine inside the, inside the barrel and um, hope that uh, gonna keep a nice temperature anyway um, i'm going to start digging well uh, the only mechanical help i can get to speed up the operation is uh, this uh, viper auger i have since long time and a tool that i really appreciate I managed to dig about 10 um, 3 feet deep holes with the auger but uh, now I'm getting close to the area where it's slippery uh, on the slope toward the river so I got to take it by hand well, uh, this is uh, so far what I did up to my uh, beer uh, break um, I had to use only the shovel so far, so I don't need any other digging tool but I uh, need an axe because uh, there are a lot of uh, roots from the trees around here by the way, this is a really nice place under the tree with a creek and this wonderful pine tree here that gives a lot of shade this big one so, natural protection from the sun. Well, the problem I have right now is that I need to rely heavily on my axe and get rid of these roots because I cannot even shovel the dirt out. Uh, well, I think that uh, will do. I'll put a barrel inside and uh, fit it with uh, bottles and then I'll go to next step. Five cases that didn't fit in my wine cellar inside so uh, there is a Rioja Reserva to 2012 um, Meritage Napa Valley 2014 and Chateau uh, San Michel, Michel Indian Well also 2014 well I hope they're all gonna fit here I'm going to just stack it one on top of each other Well, uh, the way one case fit in here, I think I'll have no problem to get uh, five cases inside, so I'm just going with it. Well, I'll give you a peek inside. Uh, basically, I can put uh, 41 bottles on uh, one um, layer and uh, I don't think I can put more than two layers on this barrel. However, you know, this barrel and the whole thing is immaterial. I can do something of wood or uh, build it for the size I really need it. So theoretically, I can put here about 80, um, two bottles plus, uh, pretty much what um, they fit in my um, wine cellar, the professional one I, I purchased. Now um, I want to show you that actually I have a tilt of a 4.75 degrees here, 5.2 here it's showing. So um, 
the the whole barrel is tilt about five degrees uh, slope so uh, uh, it's perfect well let me show you how it looks from the top I'm going just to put a cover here since I am going to open it uh, maybe you know two three months later or whatever I will need some more wine so it's no big problem well you just witnessed uh, the build of a, a redneck wine cellar uh, theoretically actually the wine it's in the best uh, uh, environment right now temperature is 55 there's no sound no light coming through and uh, definitively that uh, is how you're supposed to keep um, your red wine well from me to the wine um, my dear friend rest in peace Ion Billy put you there and we'll take very good care of you and definitely we'll see each other later have a good uh, stay or rest in peace